Absolutely. Welcome to Lance Mountain. This is my profile, firsthand, here on Fuel TV. Um, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's basically how it's supposed to be, right? Tony Hawk, Tony Alva, Travis Pastrana, Sean White, all these dudes know who I am. <laughs> I mean, you know who I am. I'm Lance Mountain, bro. I mean, do I have to tell you? One of the four main figures in the Bones Brigade saga. Start over. We grew up in Southern California right inland from where it all started, which was, you know, surf oriented. And we're the inland, like landlocked dudes that look towards the surfing aspect of it, but all these parks were being built. And uh, that was really our home turf of what we grew up on is the skate parks in Southern California in the late 70s. I've been skating since 1975. I started when I was 10, fifth grade. Um, and I just feel that I've been blessed to be involved and actually be a professional for almost 30 years now. And um, this is my first hand and I'm gonna expose myself to you. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I gotta try this. I don't know, I mean, when we started skating, like skateboard career, it wasn't even a term. It wasn't even something that was feasible. And boom, all of a sudden we saw these guys that were getting their names on boards, winning contests, and getting awesome photos in the mags, and it was very influential. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to, we wanted to get air or whatever we saw them doing. I knew from a young age, like, I wish I could do this for the rest of my life. But seriously, those great dudes that we looked up to, their life was maybe six months as a pro, maybe two years. It changed so quick at that time. We were kind of younger and the group of guys that I grew up with we were like third generation skate park guys. And uh, we were really the first guys that had the opportunity or the right place or time to be able to make a full like living at it and sustain it over a period of time. Um, and we were just right place, right time to be able to do that. But as we got sponsored, I started going like, okay, I gotta, I started, I gotta give what these guys want, you know, and I, it was a charade. It was like playing around with giving them what they wanted or what they thought that you're supposed to have, but I was still laughing and I was, <laughs> I was still having a fun time the whole time. I just had the opportunity at that time to be put on the right team at the right time and Stacy put me on, pal, and it, it was alongside all these other guys. They had these great guys. That, uh, Rodney Mullen was the best at freestyle. Steve Cavallaro was the best professional uh, vertical skater. Tony Hawk was going to be the best. It was obvious as a young kid that it was just amazing. And I think maybe they wanted to round out the team with kind of more like of a character type. That was just, it really changed things for me. I got on PAL and I, I, I was married. And I had a, <laughs> you know, I had a, I thought of like, okay, here's messing around, goofing around, I'm playing around, but I'm married, like I have responsibilities and like just the love for my family and son and take care of that and put my son through school and everything. I was like, here's messing around skating and here's what I gotta do seriously to like pay the bills, to be honest. And um, I was like, man, I better, I better like actually win one of these contests or try or, you know, like I, I kind of articulated how to put this together to make it work for me. And, uh, and so, Seriously, out of the necessity of not being the best in the world, I, I just did what I could do. I think that's what gave me the opportunity and the place and also like the knowledge for when skateboarding died in the 90s and just caved in for all of us, that I could stay involved and really like figure out how to do and what to do next, you know. And I started my own skateboard company and I mean, still tried to stay relevant, still get photos in the magazines, be in videos. I just stayed involved as much as I could.
the end of the day, I did the firm for 15 years, and uh, that kind of all came to a head, you know, and it came full circle, and uh, Flip asked me to escape for him, <laughs> you know, 15 years later. So that leads us to today, where it's like, that's what I do. Like, still just a professional skateboarder for somebody, and trying to film a video part, and mess around, and have fun, do artwork, build, work on skate parks, um, meet old friends, skate backyard pools. That's what I do, and this is my first hand. <laughs>